Hello everyone, I'm Doug Chalmers with the Stockholm Environment Institute, and I'm here to talk to you today about the ERIMS Analyzer, which is a tool I developed with the State Water Resources Control Board to look at water rights data. In this presentation, I'll be talking about uh, what is the ERIMS Analyzer, what kinds of questions can it answer, and then I'll be giving a walkthrough tour in Excel. So what is the ERIMS Analyzer? It is an Excel tool with VBA coding in the background to process water rights data. And this water rights data, as input to the tool, comes from the ERIMS water rights database, which is found online and available to the public. And it's where the state water board stores its uh, electronic water rights from across the state. ERIMS Analyzer takes this information from the ERIMS database, and it processes it to form uh, monthly use estimates for each water right in Excel. So, what kinds of questions can the ERIMS Analyzer answer? Uh, you can use the tool to explore things like, what are the monthly diversions in my watershed? What do the user reports show each year? Which water rights have data discrepancies? And you could uh, use the Excel filters to look at any number of custom queries, like how many water rights show blank in my watershed. So enough about talking about it. Uh, let's check it out. So the ERIMS Analyzer comes packaged in a folder with a README Word file, as well as a logic tree file, which uh, show how the algorithms are calculated. Most of the action goes on in this main ERIMS Analyzer Excel file. And in this Excel file, it has its own README. Uh, the sheets are nicely laid out in order to help guide the user. Each sheet has plenty of documentation to help guide what's going on. And the user interacts with the spreadsheet in order to use the tool. So to use the tool, uh, you import the data which was downloaded from that ERIMS database. And then you process the data to produce calculations like uh, the diverted total estimates. And the diverted total are monthly estimates for each water right of when is the water actually drawn and diverted out of the stream. And also calculated is amount used, which is when is the water actually applied and used. And both the diverted total and the amount used are calculated because for water rights which have storage, uh, they may divert the water in the winter and then actually use it in the summer. And the diverted total and amount used are calculated in what's called a reported water use scenario, which looks at uh, what use was reported to the board in the past. In addition to the reported scenario, there's a permitted water use scenario, which looks at what is the maximum amount allowed according to the water right. And then, in addition to the estimates, uh, the tool compiles application info associated with the water rights. And there's also a handy uh, water use report matrix, which shows the amounts reported to the board for each year. So you could look at, are the reports changing through time? And are certain water rights even reporting at all? The tool will also flag uh, any applications which have data discrepancies, which the user can go into the worksheets and semi-automatically resolve these data discrepancies to produce more accurate uh, water use estimates since the data in the database is often incomplete. At which time, there's this watershed summary report feature which gives you kind of a high level, uh, big picture of what's going on in the watershed so you can easily and quickly follow. You can print this summary report to a PDF and it looks at things like uh, the totals for the scenarios, the beneficial uses, uh, owners with high diversions, as well as HUC 12s. And finally, you can export uh, time series CSVs so you can use them in a model of your choice. Uh, SCI has done this with projects using wheat models. So, if you like what you see and you're interested in accessing the ERIMS Analyzer, the best way to do so is to either contact myself, uh, Doug Chalmers, or Rajah Hassan at the State Water Board. And with that, I just want to say thank you for listening, and thanks to folks in the State Water Board as well as colleagues at SEI for supporting this effort. And at this time, I'll take your questions. Thank you so much.